Hi, this is Yako from Builder.com, reporting from the Dwell and Design 2009 convention here in Los Angeles. I'm here with Glenn from the American Institute of Architects and the AIA. They just actually completed uh, their annual convention a few weeks ago up in uh, Moscone Center in San Francisco, and they're here to actually showcase um, to the design community some of the green initiatives that they're promoting in the architecture community. So, um, Glenn, can you tell us a little bit about your role at the AIA? Sure. Well, I'm the uh, Director of Marketing at the American Institute of Architects. Uh, I work for the national component. We have over 300 local chapters, including one in Los Angeles. And so we're based in Washington, D.C., and we're responsible really for uh, doing a lot of outreach to our members to get them aware of the things that the American Institute of Architects are doing on behalf of the design profession. But it's also about reaching out to potential clients, members of the public, to make sure that they're aware that architects, especially AIA architects, are extremely well qualified for design projects, specifically sustainable projects. And what would you say makes AIA architects um, particularly good for sustainable projects? Well, I think uh, the first thing is that uh, for the last uh, few years, sustainability has been a really big strategic initiative for the AIA. And so we've spent a lot of our resources in coming up with educational materials. Uh, two years ago, our convention's theme was focused entirely on sustainable design. In San Francisco, as you mentioned, at the Moscone Center, it was also a major component. Uh, this year, for the first year, we've implemented mandatory continuing education for sustainable design for our members, which means that in order to be a member of the AIA, you have to do at least several hours of sustainable design education every year. And so I think that what we're trying to do nationally is to make sure that our members have the resources and the knowledge uh, so that they are able to work more effectively with their clients who are increasingly asking for sustainable uh, elements in their projects. So that's really interesting. So I guess how old is this initiative that you're talking about? Well, you know, I mean, I think that we, we would say that we've been doing sustainable design for many, many years. I mean, going back even, I'd say maybe perhaps uh, 10 to 12. But it was really only in the last few years when one of our presidents, R.K. Stewart, uh, who was a really strong proponent of sustainable design, really made sure that the Institute focused all of its attentions on, on this, this area. So I would say that for the last several years, this has really been a priority for our organization and for our members. So do you think that sustainability, I know one of the questions is that sustainability is maybe just a trend. Um, does, I guess the AI is not taking that stance. No, not at all. You know, I think that um, what I would hate for people to think is that it's really just something that is popular now and isn't going to have resonance in the years to come. I think that what we're finding is that you know, projects don't have to be completely sustainable. Uh, they can be parts of it, uh, elements of it, and still work to the betterment of the environment and communities. Um, what we hope is that there are enough things going on along building project product manufacturers, uh, clients who are asking for more of these elements in their projects, design professionals being able to fulfill those requests, that this is something that's going to be in place for the long term. And we were talking a little bit beforehand, you were mentioning that a lot of the push is actually coming from clients. Do you see this as a continuing trend? I think so. You know, certainly Dwell Magazine, uh, the sponsor of this uh, uh, conference that we're at today, uh, is really doing a great job of educating the public about sustainable design. And I think that as more and more clients become educated about this, the demand is starting to increase. And we are finding that a lot of our members are being asked by clients, you know, what can you do to help us to achieve what we're hoping to, to accomplish with our projects? Great. And where would, where would people go to learn more about uh, the AI, AIA and their sustainable uh, programs? That's a great question. Uh, for the uh, design professionals as well as the public, we have a campaign right now called Walk the Walk. And uh, it's at our website, which is aia.org slash walk the walk. And you'll find resources, uh, webisodes, um, downloadable documents, things of that nature, all designed to help educate about sustainable design. Great. Well, thanks so much, Glenn. It's been really a pleasure talking with thanks you. Thanks. Thanks, Yakov. I appreciate it. Great. So, again, this is Yakov reporting from the Dwell and Design 2009 convention here in Los Angeles. Uh, for more videos like this, please visit builderu.com.